Hello folks, Off Grid Gary. This, you guys might remember, we did a video a couple years ago of a solar generator that I was building. And to make a long story short with you, I finished it up. Remember, because the panels fold up. Now this whole thing folds up like bat wings here and goes in and out. Like this. But anyway, I hadn't finished it and I'd used it. I just put it, I just hooked it up to the rest of my solar system. And what I did with it, I used it to help support an air conditioning. Well, since then I put a lithium ion battery on. I don't have to really do anything about it now. I just use my solar. But I had extra parts. So I figured I'd go ahead and finish this up. These are my eight L16 batteries. Right here. The tops are a little faded, but let me tell you when I tell you, these batteries are not very old. They're, they're like brand new. But anyway, I put them on here, and I got in my junk pile, and I found this little cheapy charge controller that I had from a long time ago. It's nothing special, folks. This thing, I think I paid 79 to to 100 bucks for it on eBay a couple years ago. It's a cheap controller, but... It's charging these 8L16s with these solar panels. Now, I don't have it boxed in yet. This thing is a work in progress. We just got it off the back burner again. I got these big heavy-duty set of jumper cables because we had a hurricane the other day. So, And luckily it curved and missed us. But this is a pure sine wave 3,000-watt inverter. And you can see it's on and going. Batteries are 56.8. Actually, I think this gauge is a little bit off, but we're closer to 50. We're closer to 58 volts. But um, yeah, I just we just put it together yesterday. Of course, the frame itself has always been together. That hasn't been an issue. Um, I just bolted the solar panels down and put batteries on board. And I took an old charge controller and hooked up. I do have a 48, well, like I say, 48 volt inverter. But I do want to enclose this thing. This is just getting started, but it is up and operational and working. So with that being said, I wanted to let everybody know it did work. And it's going to work just fine. And as we go, I'll shoot video. I am going to buy a better quality charge controller. Look, this is just a spare that I had that I had off the it's not a name brand. I'm looking at one that's probably about $300 to put on here. Will it work any better? Honestly, I couldn't tell you. But, because right now, this thing is working really well. The only reason I'm putting new on it, I've got a new 60 amp breaker. I got a 60 amp, I mean a 60 amp breaker, and I have a new combiner box this brand new I'm going to put on this. I have a brand new inverter that's going on this. I got new batteries that's going on this. The panels were new a couple years ago, even though they haven't been used. Um, so that's why I'm putting a new charge controller on it. Would I have to? No. But I'm doing it because I wanted to show people with this cheap controller that the system does work. It's a cheaper inverter. It does work. Um, you don't have to spend a big pile of money to make something like this. Excuse me. The inverter... On eBay, these little inverters are like 300 bucks. And they'll make it whatever voltage you want. 12, 24, 36, 48. You can see the wattage there. This one's a 48 volt because you can see it says 48 volt. Uh, I got it hooked up with jumper cables. It's not permanently mounted. You know, this is something. This is just something I'm doing because I wanted to charge those eight batteries up. Um... This is something down the road I'm going to have where I can put it behind my golf cart and take it where I want to take it on my homestead. So if I want to put power on the bottom of the property, I can. You know, that kind of thing. I can run my welder with this, this kind of thing. So that's kind of where I'm leaning to with this. Have a great day. We'll have a good one. Bye.